I wanna break down this universal law for you today that I believe is like a superpower when it's understood and implemented into our lives. And by understanding this universal law, I believe it's gonna help you move towards your goals, your dreams, and your desires so much more easily. If this is your first time here, my name is Troy, and I help people like you 10X their results, experience life in a whole new different way. I help you to rediscover the human experience so that you can have more joy, happiness, fun, and play in life and experience abundance because abundance is your true nature. One of the things you might be experiencing is you have a goal, you have a dream, your desire, but you're white knuckling it, meaning you're like really focused, you're gripping the wheel tight. Let's look at it from a dating standpoint. Imagine you're really interested in somebody. You wanna connect with them, you think this person's gonna be great. You'd really love to have a relationship with this person. But the reality is, if you want it badly, you're always gonna be paying a wanting tax, meaning you're overly invested into it. One is that's almost like a repellent type of energy. It's gonna push someone away from you, right? Like, oh damn, it's almost too much. The second part is you're gonna spend too much of your time and your energy thinking about it. That is the wanting tax. But think about the guy or the girl, they're detached, they're not that invested. They still maybe like to go out to this person, but they're just, detached from the outcome. They don't really care because they understand there's lots of different options. They're at the gym, working out, hanging out with some friends, having fun because they're not paying a wanting tax. They're not overly obsessed about it. So it's the same thing with our dreams, our goals, and our outcomes. I was talking with a client just this week and my client was telling me he was on, a, he was on his honeymoon. And he said, while he was there, he finally got to let go of business. He wasn't thinking about it. He wasn't obsessing about it. And he's like, man, I had all these great insights come. And I started thinking about this and that. And all this beautiful stuff came into my mind. And I was like, there you go. That's it. That's a lot of detachment. Look at the energy that was created because you weren't stuck in your mind. You weren't being overly obsessed. Think of your mind as like a muscle. If you work it out too much, it becomes tired and exhausted. It's not very efficient. We have to allow it to rest and recover. That's why it's important that we don't white knuckle our goals, that we don't get overly focused. It has to look like this. We still put in the effort. We move towards the outcome we desire, but we hold it loosely. It's just like water. If I want water, I don't squeeze it tightly. There'll be nothing left. I cup it and I hold it loosely. And then there's something there. We do the same with our goals and our dreams and our desires. We cup it and we hold it loosely. By detaching from that outcome, you naturally start to let go of fear and anxiety because fear and anxiety is only existing in our minds because our mind is going, it has to look this way. We start to create literally like a fantasy world around it. It's gonna look this way and these things will happen. And if it doesn't, oh my gosh, I won't live that reality. It's actually a fantasy that you won't live. I believe that you're working with the universe, but you have to allow space for the universe to work with you. I believe the universe, source, God, whatever you wanna call it, has a beautiful plan for your life. But if we always try to create our own reality out of our own minds, we become overly obsessed, it's not as beautiful as it could be. So yes, we have to put the effort in. Yes, we have to move towards that goal. We have to believe, we have to have faith, but we hold it loosely and we allow the universe to direct the course, to change things for us. And I believe that creates the most beautiful outcomes. When you start to feel fear or anxiety creep up, just remember that you're inferring the reality, meaning that you're creating what these things mean to you. Like I remember having a lot of scarce thoughts years ago. I'd be like, oh, if this doesn't happen, I'm gonna end up poor and it's gonna look like this and I'm gonna fail again. I've already had businesses that collapsed and failed. And so I had real reference points what that felt like. And I was like, oh, it's gonna look like this. But then I realized that I was creating the meaning around that, that in the reality of things, when I did fail, my business didn't succeed, I actually learned so much and it was a beautiful experience and it catapulted me into other areas of life that I would have never gone into. And I realized just by shifting my belief around these things, changing my perspective, that I changed the entire meaning of it. So by detaching from what things have to look like, it has to be this way, we actually let go. And so again, bring it back into a dating situation. I have to be with this person. Well, we don't really know that. What's life gonna look like five, 10 years down the road, 20 years down the road, or even maybe a few weeks down the road? They might be crazy, we don't know. So you let go of attachment to the outcome. You always have lots of options. Life is abundant, you are abundant. Abundance is your natural state. And by believing that, by feeling into that more and more deeply, we naturally start to loosen our grip we're not white knuckling things anymore. And strangely, life starts to work with us and for us. Things come towards us. Again, take it into a social situation. If I go there and I'm like, I have to meet people, I have to do this, people are gonna feel that energy and it's almost repulsive. It pushes them away. I believe the universe almost works the same way. For like, it has to look like this, I have to do this. We actually push those things further away from us. But by being loose and relaxed and going, 
I don't know, but I know it's gonna be beautiful. I know it's gonna be fun. My intention is to grow. My intention is to connect. My intention is to play. We just carry those loose intentions, but we put effort and action towards the result we desire. We hold it loosely, and then we get beautiful outcomes because we're allowing space, space for the universe to work with us. I believe the path for you to move deeper into detachment is to really chew on it, is to meditate on it, to like feel into the energy internally. Remember this, that the pathway, the door to success does not open outward, it opens inward. And I believe that this is an example and an opportunity for you to go into yourself, to understand detachment on a deeper level. So take some time, meditate a little bit, go deep into yourself, see what that feels like, what that might look like for you in your life. Notice where you're overly attached, you'll usually have a lot of fear and anxiety around those things and to see if you can loosen your grip and go, I'll be okay. The detach, we have to create deep belief in ourself that we'll always be okay. We're always gonna make it. Just look back in your life so far. You've probably had multiple things that didn't turn out the right way. But when you look at them, it's okay. It turned out all right. You're okay. You're going to make it. So carry that looseness with you. Because look at, like even my body right now, feeling that looseness feels so good. But when we get obsessed, it has to be this way, everything tightens up. We want a relaxed and loose body because a relaxed and loose body is a loose mind. And that's where those beautiful ideas and insights come from. Detach from the outcome, but continue to put massive effort in as you move forward towards your dreams, your goals, and your outcomes. I know it's gonna create a beautiful reality for you. I'm here to help, I appreciate you so much. So if you could do me a favor, hit the like button that helps promote this video, and also subscribe that help grow the community. I'm here for you. Drop me a comment below and let me know what you're going to detach from over the next 30 days, let's say. Give it 30 days, detach from it. Notice the shift in energy because you're gonna get that energy back to put it towards something else. I love you so much. I look forward to meeting you in person someday. Make sure you check out this video because I believe it's gonna help you as well. Until next time, peace.